Rings or strings? Which one's better for you? If you've been wondering this, then I'm going to take you through the pros and cons of ring bound planners versus traveler's notebooks. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, it's Kara from The Hooting Pirate, and today we're going to decide whether it's Laurel or Yanny. Actually, I can hear both, which is really appropriate because I use both strings and rings in my planner system. My main planner is a TN, and it has the strings, but I also use ring binder planners when I'm doing special projects. This one, for example, is my, can you guess what it is? It's my Christmas planner, and this comes out, well, once a year, and it's it's great, I love it, it's pretty. But I prefer using the strings, my TN, for my everyday. So let's get into some of the pros and cons of each, and then that might help you make a decision. Let's just move the rings out of the way for a second. We will start with the strings. Okay, so what I like about strings is that you can move from one cover to another really quickly and really easily. I recently moved into this like two days ago from my Outlander TN and it took me all of five minutes. All I did was took out each of the books, put them in and then I, and I put a few things in my pocket and that was it, then it was done. There's no need to punch any holes. Sometimes when you have a bunch of pages and you're moving into a new one or you're adding in new, new sections or your new month, you have to punch holes on all the pages and that can take time and can be annoying. But all you need to do for a TN is just slide the insert into the elastics. Another thing is stretched out elastics. This one has absolutely no stretch left in it at all. All you need to do when that happens is take it out and add new elastic. Meanwhile, if your rings are broken, then you have to replace this whole system, which can not only be complicated, but pricey as well. If you have a certain section in your traveler's notebooks, it's really easy to swap it out. Maybe you'd want to take it out and make it slimmer for when you're traveling, or if it's a certain section that you want to move around, you could have one section per per insert. So all you need to do is take out that one insert or move that insert around or add a new one if you want a new section and it's as simple as that. It's also really handy if you have a small project or if you want to have a little couple notebooks in your bag just to add a few little inserts into a tiny TN and it's really practical. This is for my trip to London in November. Okay, let's move on to rings. Now in a ring planner, it's really easy to move pages around. This one I use, it's a workbook, so, but if I have certain pages that I want to be somewhere else in my planner, all I have to do is take that one page out and move it somewhere else. It's super easy and super quick. You can't do that with traveler's notebooks because you have all the pages stitched or stapled together into one little booklet. And that way, because you can move pages around, you can mix types of pages. Maybe you want to have like the month calendar first and then the weekly and then all the dailies and then another weekly, then all the dailies. You don't have to have the month at the front, then all the weeklies and all the dailies. Or if that's what you want, you can move it whatever configuration you can add pages that have nothing to do with your calendar it's really easy and to mix it up and make it versatile and work better for you most products these days seem to be made for ring bound planners now maybe that's just my experience but i find it hard to find ones that are made for tns but it does make it easier if you're in rings if you have a planner with extra pages at the back that you're not going to use you can take those out so that you can have less bulk like this one <sighs> You can see that I really need to take those extra pages out because it's it's hard to get closed. When you open your ring bound planner, it will open completely flat, which is super great as opposed to a TN, which will can open flat, but you can see not 100%, not in my case anyway. And especially when you get the pages in here and they get a little bulky, you can see that if I go to write on a page like this, it's not flat at all. It's got kind of a curve to it and it makes it harder to write. You can punch holes in pretty much anything. This is just laminated. This cut file is laminated and I punched a hole in it. And this one I have, I've put in a tag. I've put in, well, this was in here, a little photo sleeve, a bookmark. I put this acetate in here with a sticker on it. You can put anything. If you can punch a hole in it, you can put it in your ring binder. And another thing with the rings is that you can cut slits two of the holes so that you can pop in pages that you use frequently. You can move them around really easily instead of having to open up the rings every time to change things around. Those are my 
pros for ring bound. Now I wanna go through the three main reasons that I chose to be in strings. Let's take this back up. Okay, so I'm left-handed and these are fantastic for lefties because I can get right into this corner box and the rings aren't getting in the way. When I write in rings, I, can, I can't go any further left than this. I have to take the page right out of the book, which is, which is annoying. This I don't have to take them out. You can cram a ton of things into a traveler's notebook. I can add even more inserts in this puppy, get it really fat. I could even add a couple more and it's still going to close. Look, I can keep it, I can get it that big. And it's still closed. I can, my elastics probably could be a little tighter even and it would close very nicely. But as you can see for my Christmas one, it's pretty much at max. Of course, I can take out those extra pages, but I can't get anything else in here. Otherwise, this strap won't hold it close. So if I've got extra books, I can't get that strap to meet, the, the snap to meet. And I think probably my favorite reason or the number one reason why I'm in strings is because you can use the same size pages, but get a smaller, the entire planner is smaller. Okay, so I'll show you. The pages are the exact same size as the ring ones. You can see it's A5, exactly the same. But when you look at the planner, there's quite a size difference. There's probably a good inch on this side and maybe three quarters of an inch on the top. So I have a smaller, more compact planner, but I still have the space inside because I don't have to have the, the space for the rings. So what it comes down to is that both of them are adaptable and customizable, but you need to choose the one that's best for you. You want one that works for you now, what your needs in a planner are. Now, also remember that if you're choosing right now which one you're going to use, it doesn't mean you have to, if you choose strings, doesn't mean you have to be in strings forever. Doesn't mean that you can't be in strings for your main planner, but then for other projects, you can use rings or you can use strings all the time. It doesn't matter. You can change it up whenever your needs change. So did I miss anything? What are your favorite things about your planner today, whether that be strings or rings? Let me know in the comments below. So if you decide you want to give strings a try, I'll send you to this video, which will help you set up your first TN. And if you prefer strings, then I'm going to send you to another video where you can make this cute little die cut dashboard with the butterflies. Hit on my little face here to subscribe. Have a fantastic day and happy planning.